Hey guys, Walter D here. This is online, and we are going to do one thing with this online. At least, when I'm in this situation. With anyone, for glory, and one-on-one. -on -one. Because the other one's not my style. So the idea here, guys, instead of just dicking around, I'm actually going to make some sort of action with this basically i want to show you guys what to expect on for glory mode a and also how to really improve at this game because there's a lot of elements here and there i mean this game isn't too complicated but it's good to know some tips and tricks with each character not to mention we'll have fun i'm pretty sure that's the whole idea of this and trust me, I, that's pretty much what I want to ha do, guys. I just want to use this as an educational tool and an entertainment tool. Because I really just want to see this Smash Brothers be really good. And not everybody be like, oh, it's going to be like Brawl God and can't play online all that fun shit. So, let's get started with the first one-on-one. -on -one. And I will try to be very, very respectful for my opponents because... They're guests, technically, and I think we should start with that by pounding their face in with Ganondorf, because, God forbid, Ganondorf is just so fucking amazing. I just love fucking Ganondorf. I mean, the fact that he's a character that you have to- Oh, great, it's freaking Greninja. This is good. Oh, this will help me practice my freaking projectile spam, because I know he might be one. Wow, that's something. Yeah, that's one thing you have to really watch out for. So, the thing you should know about Ganondorf is that he is pretty much a character that you have to be methodical with. And just know that he is going to be outsped on I mean, everybody. Whoa, this guy definitely does not have... Greninja down just yet. He is getting the whole throws down because Greninja is partially about throws, but uh, the recovery could use some work. Let's keep playing him. I mean, that first match wasn't really much of a showcase on either side. And I really want to have this guy show his best. His Sunday best. I'm going to show him my Monday best. Freaking King DDD reason why King DDD I, is one of my mains is because I used to use him in Brawl, and he was pretty fun, but they got rid of the chain grabbing, so I gotta get used to his new style, which is kind of nice. Though you see still really slow, so you gotta be careful with him. Oh yeah, this guy definitely doesn't have a bad idea how to use him. However, I think he might be moving the loop. He might be moving a little too fast. Like I said, he's probably not got the whole character movement down. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah man, he's kicking my ass. Man. All I can say is this guy's pretty throw-tastic right now. Like, literally, that's all he's doing, and my guy is apparently just loving to do smash attacks. Oh, now he's starting to get predictable. Oh. Now he's just thinking I'm going to walk into his smash attacks. That's not going to work. Especially when you're kind of playing against a human player. That's definitely not going to work. It may have worked in Brawl, but this ain't Brawl. Oh, he's getting wise with that move. One thing I like about DDD is that he is really good at edge guarding. I mean, that Gordo is really, really nasty at times because pretty much it gives you an arching projectile. An arching projectile when you're doing edge guarding gives a lot of coverage on that other side and DDD can also go out there shortly or you could just create a nice little gordo wall by letting it just bounce up 
with the high arc that he has. I like how he has multiple arcs. That makes him a lot more useful and a lot harder to predict, but granted, it's going to get to the point where it's not going to work out, especially if you're fighting projectile users. Ike, on the other hand, he has no projectiles. It's all about getting in people's faces and waving your sword around. Hopefully they run right into it. This guy really likes throwing. Let's take advantage of that. One thing you should never do, repeat an action 50 times like that. Now I know he's just going to keep grabbing me. Because he thinks it's going to work all the time. One thing you should never do, forward smash with Ike unless you're playing mind games, A, or punishing. Ike's forward smash is pretty bad. I mean, it has a really slow recovery, and while it does do some wicked KO shit, uh, problem is, is that that's a lot better at hitting people, and it hurts just as much now. I don't know what's up with forward down smash, but it's crazy good. Punish. I'll just wait. Oh wow. Guess that doesn't have priority to that. This guy's pretty good. I'd have to give him that much. Oh. Though he is kind of doing some bad moves, like the whole charging up forward smash. Grab, re spamming grabs a bit. But he has been doing some other things really well. He is not too predictable, at least. Oh, nice try, buddy. Though I do wish he would use a different character. I mean, fighting the same guy's fun, but if you're not bringing up the speed, it's gonna be hard to get along. So let's try Greninja against him, see if we can have a nice little ditto here, because Greninja is one of my up-and-coming mains, but I still don't have him down, especially when Nintendo changes a lot of stuff about him. Stuff I, like, learned and... Oh, now he's using Mike. What the fuck? Damn it, dude! Oh, he is doing prep pretty well. Wow, I don't know what happened to that move. Doo -doo -doo. Now, one thing you should know about Greninja, all up throw is one of those, it's one of those throws that's good for you this time. Ah, crap. You need to really stop doing that with IQ. I mean, it's not really helping. Oh, shit. Got me there. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's not really gonna help you when I just keep... You can't just keep doing that move. Oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah, of course my Greninja is not that good yet. I mean, he's pretty much doing standard Ike right now. Especially when you're finishing the jab when it's clearly missing. Don't want to do that. Ah, shit. Should have watched out for that. He's just kind of throwing shit out, I'm noticing.
Don't ever spam counter. That's not good because I just wait. That's what the thing you should never do about counter. When someone just starts spamming counter, hold your smash attacks or just start throwing because otherwise you're going to get hit a lot more than you should because counter spamming is not healthy for you. Any kind of spamming is questionable, honestly. Because you then start running into people that just keep using it in your life. Okay, dude, you know how this is going to work, right? Just do a throw and then do your combo, and they're like, crap, can't do anything. Now it's Falco, okay, so projectile spam in 3, 2, 1. Yep, should have saw that coming. Nice warp. This guy really likes using the frickin' uh, Falco Illusion. Nice. Now you're just being really bad with those smash attacks. Nice read. One thing I need to stop doing is probably throwing, or double jumping after getting hit. Because that can really spell trouble for you if you happen to jump and then get hit again off the stage. Man, he really needs to stop doing the smash attacks. They're not doing... Oh, shit, that hit me. Now he's getting all taunt frenzy. The problem with taunting is you gotta back it up, dude. Oh, now he's doing that nonsense. Nice. Up shit. Ah. Yeah, he's getting good with those reads. Ah. It's not bad with Falco, I'll give him that much. However, he really needs to be careful with those moves. Now he's just spamming because you know he's got an advantage. That ain't working for you, buddy. BAM! Alright, I think I'm done with this guy. I got my matches in. I think he's got his matches in. Those were that last fight was pretty good. Definitely she taught me maybe I shouldn't try to go in for that quick uh that quick spike because I'm gonna get my ass kicked if I miss and get freaking illusioned because that definitely has a spike to it and I definitely don't like spikes especially when you have characters that can't recover with beans and I think I'm gonna start throwing out some secondaries here Samus being one of them because while Samus is a little better in this game she's doesn't play like she used to. The forward air kind of comes out a little slower and it has more lag. And it's fucking Sonic. Yeah, Sonic's really bad news for projectile spam. However, when Sonic is on the ground all the time... Okay, so let's learn something new about Samus today. Projectile spam is really good against Sonic. Especially when they down B. Oh god, lag now. Aim that, buddy. One thing that's really dangerous about Sonic back compared to Brawl is that he actually has a lot more kill moves, and that makes him very dangerous, because Sonic didn't have a lot of kill moves, and that's the reason why he was pretty... He wasn't all that terrific. I mean, he was good. He definitely had ways to kill, but... It just didn't work. 
Ah, shit. Here comes lag again. I was getting choppy, and I'm getting kicked around. Shit. Wow, I, where, where was my jump? Yay. Yeah, this flag is getting really bad all of a sudden. Oh shit. He really likes that up throw, I'm noticing. Not that it's a bad thing, because if Sonic keep... Ah, he's getting unpredictable. I like him with Sonic. He definitely knows how to use it to an extent. I mean, he's faking me out, which is... He's definitely using those B-moves. Yep, he definitely has an idea. That's new. Oh, that was really clever. I like that. He Too bad that's not going to matter if I hit you. Oh, shit. Should have saw that coming. There we go. Damn, Sonic stayed alive for quite a while there. This could be bad for news for me. Oh, he's... I'm just projectile spamming. This is where it matters. Oh, shit. And this is where it's killing me. Ah, shit. Thought that was gonna hit. Done. Good game, buddy. That was a really good Sonic. I kind of cheesed that one out at the end, but i never seen a better Sonic until today. That was really good. The unpredictable in ways and definitely kept me guessing a little bit. So, and he adapted. That's also good. So, I wish I need to. I wish I could fight more players like this guy right now because. Most of the players I play online are the same characters, rather predictable. I mean, it, no offense to them, they just go with strategies that work for them. But at this point, when you're playing for glory, the strategies don't always work. Because people are definitely human beings, so... Oh, this is going to be an interesting match, because Meta Knight's not very good in this game. Not good at all. Usually he's, like, wonderful. But now he's just like, kind of, there's nothing I can really do about it. You just kind of have to work with what you got. And it's considering that Sonic is a much faster and much better character overall. Yeah, like pretty much he's got me outspeeded. All I have to do is kind of, and it's not exactly easy to get combos on Sonic, especially when he's moving about 9 miles per second. Oh shit, did not expect that to hit at the end. And not to mention, Me Meta Knight has like some of the worst damage in the entire game. Like, he literally has like no damage. And it just really sucks. Um, very risky move there, but you pulled it off. <coughs> and you capitalized. Good job. So pretty much, I think I'm probably going to lose this fight, especially when I'm not used to Sonic versus Meta Knight game. He definitely knows how to use that down the air big time, because... 
mostly ba bad Sonic players will just kind of use the down air. And there'd be nothing for it. Yeah, he's definitely really good with this. Alright, buddy. Problem with that. Oh, there he goes again. Problem is the up air or the up throw to oh, man. I saw that coming. Boy, I just didn't do anything. Oh, God, that dash, that Sonic's dash move is so much better. Not oh, shit. Problem with using dimensional cape is one of his. It's one of his KO moves, but Dimensional Cape has problems actually hitting, and it's risky because if you miss, you're pretty much wide open to get hit. Oh, what? I love. Oh, that kind of was an interesting trade. Ah, shit. Kind of was hoping that would hit. Wow, that kills. Okay, no, not nice to know. Problem is, it's like killing well be well too late. I mean, dead fucking Meta Knight at that point. <laughs> Hey, you're too good. Keep it up. Alright, so this guy is definitely a treat right now, so I think I'm gonna give him a treat. I'm gonna give him the slowest character in the game! See how he contends with that. Probably will kick my ass, because, you know, Sonic's naturally gonna be better against slower characters. And... But I'm gonna hope that the slow game is going to switch it up a bit. I don't know what he's going there. He's definitely playing me. That's you. Hey, he's definitely playing me. where the hell the music is, but maybe it's just too quiet, because headphones of this caliber are not going to be doing that very well. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, nice. And that's why you don't block that. That's why you don't block that, because that's just going to wreck you. I did not expect to fucking get that hit in, followed by his forward smash to kill him. That's why I like Ganon. He can turn things around fast, and he can just take the victory really fast, too. I'm gonna just save that replay. Because it's... That, that was a good indication... Or that was a good uh, display of Ganon against Sonic. Alright, one more match for this guy, and then I think this video is good to go. 
I can I might as well say, well, since Sonic's fast, I might as well use a fast character. No, I think Captain Falcon is definitely gonna lose out in terms of predictability or unpredictability in this. I mean, Sonic just has too many good moves. However, Sonic does not have a freaking infinite combo with, with his standard. Oh god, they're playing kick-ass team, I hear. Uh, that didn't work out as well as you hope. That shit. Oh, that was just... I think that was a lucky punch. He did not expect that coming from left field. Well, that was a very interesting match, buddy. Thank you for the games. You were definitely the highlight of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next time, we'll probably do a little bit more Ganondorf, because I love using him. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Adios.